<laughs> the figure is made up of a rectangle and a semicircle. The area of the rectangle is 128 square centimeter. What is the parameter of the semicircle? Looking at this figure, some of you might be wondering if the rectangle is 128 square centimeter, do I need to do guess and check to find the length and the breadth? Actually, there is a much better way to figure out the dimensions. If this entire area is 128, what about half of it? If we divide this down the line, will we get two squares? So if you think about it, let's draw the line down somewhat in the middle, okay? If this is the radius over here, then definitely this must also be the radius. And so will this be, because this entire thing is the diameter. So if I cut it in the middle, which is the center of the circle, this is the radius, this is also the radius, which means they are the same length. Therefore, if I were to cut this rectangle down over here, I will get two equal squares. Hence, this entire area will just be 128 square centimeter divided by 2, which is 64. So let me write it down. Okay, let me erase this first. Area of half the rectangle, which is the square, will be one two eight square centimeter divided by two, and that will be sixty four square centimeter. Okay, let me draw down this line. Next step, let's figure out what is the dimension here, which is the radius. Next, we can do radius of semicircle. What is the radius? This times this will give you 64. Alright, so we know that it must be 8 cm because 8 times 8 will give you 64. So we know this is 8. Let me write it over here. This is 8 cm. So from here, are we able to figure out the parameter of the circumference yep so we just need to figure out half the circumference plus the diameter which is 16. so we can go straight to the answer actually parameter of the semicircle the parameter is actually again half of the circumference of the circle which is half times pi times the diameter which is 16 cm plus this length over here which is 16 or so again we do not need the bracket but i just bracket this thing to partition it for you so that you can see very clearly that this is the circumference of a full circle and then I multiply it by half or you can divide it by 2 to get half the circumference. So the answer is 41.12 centimeter. Alright. Next question, question 2. The figure ABCD is made up of four identical squares. So we have one two three and four the difference in area between the shaded and the unshaded part is 150 square centimeter find the length of the square a b c d 
So this is what we are trying to find the length. Now by analyzing the question, you can see that to find it directly, well, it may be a bit tedious. So let's do some manipulation of the figure. Remember, in most of the shape questions, maybe uh, composite figures, triangles, squares, whichever, all right, including circles, there are generally two approaches. One, it's that you cut the current shape, the, the given shape up, such that it gives you smaller, nicer, easier to calculate shapes, or you shift them around. Sometimes you need to do both. So for this case, we are going to do both. First, we're going to cut up the shapes and then we're going to move it around to form nicer shapes. What do I mean? Let me show it to you. Let me do this. So, one, two, let me trace it. Okay, so I'm going to cut this and I'm going to move it over here. Okay, let me zoom in more so that I can shift it. I'm going to put it right over here to fit it in nicely. Not that accurate, but you get the idea. Okay, let me go back to the... Okay, so once I've shifted this over here, this will just be an unshaded portion, which means something like this. Okay, now what do you observe? Even with this, I get a nice square, am I right? Once I shifted this over here, it forms a nice square. And then I have this triangle here. After this, how do I find the area? All right, or the length to be exact. What you can do is let us divide it into equal parts. Isn't it the same as a model drawing? All right, to solve it, most of the time you need to cut the model into equal parts so or equal units. So what do I do to this? It's a quadrant. doesn't matter. Once it forms a nice square, I can do the same thing into four equal triangles just like all this okay so you can see how many triangles are there equal triangles they are in total 4 8 12 16 in total a b c d is made up of 16 equal triangles and out of these 16 equal triangles 1 2 3 4 5 5 are shaded which means 11 of them are unshaded so let's look at this sentence again. The difference in area between the shaded, which is 5 triangles, and the unshaded part, which is 11 triangles, is 150cm square. Therefore, the difference is how many triangles? 11 minus 5? 6 triangles. So the first step, area of 6 triangles is equal to 150 square centimeter. From here, we can figure out the area of one triangle. And that will be 150 square centimeter divided by 6, and that will be 25 square centimeter. So each of this is 25, 25, 25, 25, which gives us that this is 100 cm square. If this is 100, what can we say about the length here? Okay, so let's do it step by step. Let's write down the working. Uh, okay, area of one small square will be 25 times 4, that will be 100. Okay, and over here. So if this is 100, can we figure out what is this length? And from here, we just need to multiply by 2, isn't it? So we know that if this is 100, the only way that this length and this equal Similar length can give you 100 is that this must be 10 centimeter. So from here, 
probably we can write something like this yeah equals to 10 times 10 this is to show that you know that how you get a 10 cm okay then next step would be the answer isn't it length of the square a b c d will be 10 cm times 2 20 all right let's go on to the next question this question looks somewhat similar to last year's uh, PSLE question all right probably in a simpler form the figure below is formed by three identical semicircles PQ is a straight line measuring 76 so from here P cutting through the entire thing to Q this is 76 centimeter find the parameter of the figure which means what they want to find is this, 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 three circumference of a semicircle, plus this, and this, and this. Okay, so this is the parameter which they are trying to find. Now you think about it. If this entire thing is 76 centimeter, can we mm, maybe manipulate this line such that we can divide it up into equal parts? What do I mean? Okay, look at this. What if, let me zoom in to this picture. What if I can do this? Okay, let me, okay this, if I can shift it here. Similarly, can I do this thing over here? Do you realize something? Because they are all equal semi-circle, which means this line over here, this is equal to this, is equal to this. I'll get three equal parts and we know that from here to here is 76 so we can call this one unit one unit one unit okay let's look a bit. let's go back to the working so three units will be equal to 76 centimeter minus how many 4 8 12 16 minus 16 centimeter and that will give us 60 cm next step what is one unit one unit will be 60 divided by 3 20 okay so right now we can replace all this with 20 20 20 so that's easier to see 20 20 20 are we able to figure out the diameter of a semicircle yep 424 so the diameter will be 28 center meter okay so how do we find the parameter so let's go back so now we do not need this anymore okay probably we still need it let's just put it here doesn't matter so the parameter of figure it's half the circumference half the circumference half the circumference so that is okay probably let me write it down huh? parameter of the of the figure This is actually, you add this with this with this, you will get one and a half circle circumference, isn't it? So one and a half circle is three out of two times the pi times the diameter, which is 28 plus plus 
where else? Plus this, right? 24, 24, 20. So we know that it's plus 24, plus 24, plus 20. And that should give us the answer of 199.88. Centimeter. Okay, so let's move on to the last question. Question four. Question four. Four identical circles, one, two, three, four, are drawn inside a square. So this is the entire square, not drawn to scale as shown below. The length of the square is 80 centimeter, which means from here to here it's 80 centimeter. Oops. 80 centimeter. Also, from okay, let me from here to here it's 40. That's the diameter. From here to here it's also 40. And what can we say about the radius here, which is 20, isn't it? Now there are many ways to solve these questions. All right, it's really depending how you want to find, but it, it's the same actually. One way you can do it is just to focus on this one circle. All right, you can focus on two circles, three, four circles, or you can just do it my way. My way is just simply to focus on this. I'm just going to cut it up nice and easy over here. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. I have created myself a new shape in a sense. So look at this figure over here. So are you able to see what I'm trying to do here? All right, in order to find the shaded part. So to find the shaded part, you just need to find the area of the rectangle and then minus away this four unshaded semicircle. One, two, three, four. Four unshaded semicircle is actually equal to two full circle. Okay, so let us get the dimension out first. So from here to here is no longer 80. This entire thing will be 40 centimeter and the radius is 20. So Let's figure out the answer. All right, let's first find the area of the rectangle. The area of the rectangle is equal to the length. We know that the length is 80 centimeter from here to here. 80 times 40, which is 8 times 4 plus 2 zero, so it's 3 2 zero, zero square centimeter. Next, can we find out what is the area of the unshaded part? So area of, okay, to make it simpler, area of two unshaded circle. Why two unshaded? Because again, this two unshaded gives you one full circle. This two unshaded semicircle gives you the next uh, circles. That's why we are looking for 2. What is the formula? Pi times the radius, which is 20, times the radius. This is for one circle, but we are looking for 2, so we multiply it by 2 to give you the answer of 2512 square centimeter. Final step. Area of the Shader part. Which is the area of the entire rectangle minus away the four, four unshaded semicircle or two unshaded circles, they are the same. Eh? Therefore, the answer is 3200 two, zero, zero, minus 2512. The answer is 688 cm square. Okay?